Greetings there, ladies and gentlemen. I am Lord Virgilus. Lord Virgilus. I am James Virgilus, and we are back with Bart versus the Space Mutants. So, we're in the last place. Oh, hey, Lisa. T thank you for telling me the combination is... 14 on this floor. Yes. So, on this one, this one, uh, this floor, or this stage, actually, is... Well, you'll get all the Simpsons characters. And I should have gone under that guy instead of over. I haven't done a lot of practice on this one. So here's the combination. We said it was 14, and bingo, it is 14. So we go through. We got some donuts. Which will be a perfect opportunity to show off. It's basically a screen clear. Homer just eats it and destroys everything, basically, on the screen. So... There we go. So we have to collect rods. Green radioactive rods. And put them in the basement. Why? I have no idea. But on top of that, we can only carry four at a time, so... That's going to be a little bit of a hindrance. we got to collect 16 of them. That's really going to be a pain in the ass. But we're going to go up the floors. And get some more donuts here. Yay. So yeah, this is this is the end of the game, folks. We're gonna have we're there's no bosses. There's no boss or anything. It's just finding some rods and that is it. And try not to get hit. Which I am anyway. But oh I'm here anyway. Okay, so the uh, fifth floor is the top floor. But how to get down? So you go here and you can't really go down, so you press B, and you hold down, and you'll go down a floor. And just hold B, press down. Took me forever to actually figure that out. So I'm going to cheat a little bit, because I've already done this a little bit. I've done this once already, and I totally got lost, but here's another locked door. Now the combination of this floor, which is 3, is 11. I don't really want to... Pretty much, I'll probably run into Lisa eventually. That's how you get learn how the combinations of each floor is. But I don't want to be waiting, trying to find there. And if we see Marge, we can actually let her carry the rods down to the basement as we continue on. So we're going to get the elevator and we're going to the second floor, which is one down. Alrighty. We are going... Over here. Oh, combination is 32 on this floor. Thank you, Lisa. We're going to this elevator, which only goes to the second and the fourth floor. So we're going to the fourth. And Marge just rudely interrupts me as I'm still talking. Anyway, we have one over here. And we go... There's a lot of, I don't know, for a last stage in a game, I have to say, it is very... And the combination is 41, that's the fourth floor, yes. I also have it written down, too, so just in case I forget, which... Come on, I'm... No, no, come on. Come on! You gotta press B also to call the elevator and actually go to the floor, so... A lot of B, yes. Getting the B action. All right, so we are going to uh, let her take them. And do we need to, um, actually we'll go up to, not the third floor, but we'll go to the fourth. Because I'm going to probably forget about them like I did last time when I did a practice file. I forgot that I did the fourth and fifth floor. Or I didn't do the fourth and fifth floor of the main elevator, which goes to all the floors, including the basement. So if you actually do want to take to the um, the rods to the basement yourself, you have to do it from the main elevator, which is this one, which goes all to the, all to the floors. There's three elevators in total. There's one that goes to the all floors. You can take it. Why not? You run into Marge pretty much on the main elevator shaft, and that's how you get rid of the rods so you have more space. That's basically how you do it. So the fifth floor is 21 combination. 
There we go. And, um, there is, like, other ways you can actually do it. Well, there's actually only one other way, which is pretty much just guessing it. Why, thank you, March. Thank you for interrupting me once again. But if you actually don't know the combination, just keep on pressing B on all the numbers, and you'll eventually get... What is this one? 21. And you'll eventually get get it. It takes a little longer, but eh, it's it's like no consequences if you get the wrong, wrong one, so... It just takes a bit of your time. That's all. Alright. Alright, thank you. We're going back down to the second floor. And we're going up. Let's see if we can get Marge to take this one rod away. There you go. Because it's always good to get her to go down there so you don't have to actually go down there yourself. It, it takes a bit of time. So we actually learned from Lisa that the combination of the second floor is 32. There you go, 32. And I have to think that's probably the most used door you're probably going to be using. Uh, we're going up or down? I think we're going to go up. I guess we're going to go up for... Why, thank you, March, for almost killing me. Thank you. Jesus. Alright. Let's go up. <laughs> Let's go up. Oh my god, I can't believe this. Maybe I should do it myself. Holy cow. Now this one gets a little dicey, so we'll just use a donut to... Get rid of these guys. Because I don't want to feel like them. This is... 40, 41. For the 4-4. Four four. There we go. Let's uh, go in there again. And there's one there. 41, right? Yes, absolutely. So yes. So it's probably good they get a donut there just to kill them. And on the way back, they're not there to be there. You don't have to worry about going over them. Oh, hey, can I talk to you? No? I'm just going to run slowly into the wall. In very slow motion. Oh yeah, look at that. Just oh yeah. Actually, I don't really actually know why I did that. But anyway. All right. So we need to go back down to the second, even the first floor, maybe. Yeah, we'll go to the first floor because there should be a rod right there. Yes, there is. Now this one's going to be really tough, especially on one hit. Oh, the moves. Okay, there we go. Again, if things get too dicey, just use a donut. But, you know, you have a limited supply of them, so just remember that. So we're going to the third. And we're going to go over here. And we're going to be filled up, so we're going to have to do some backtracking just for a moment. Oh, there's Maggie. So you want to remember where Maggie is, definitely, because she plays an important role. And I knew I was going to get I prefer not to eat your shorts. Especially after... Damn it. After this game, yes. Your shorts will definitely be hot, sweaty, and very yucky. So I prefer not to. Alright. So 32. Now we see, we'll, we'll probably get Marge to uh, take him down. Or, if anything, I can actually take them. I'll take them. I'll show them down. I'll show you how to actually go down and what it looks like. Yeah, we'll go down to the basement. And there we are. There we go. We got four more, and that's... No. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I know you have no nose, but let's get going, please. All right. Let's let's get going here. All right. Like I said, this I think this door is probably the most used door that I'm probably going to be using. And for some reason, I could not remember that 32 was the one that of the combination of that. I, I I don't really know. But I remember doing one of these old like recordings that I did back in. 
I think the early, like early 90s of just recording them through VCR. And I actually played this game all the way through, and hell, I, I actually I did a, an awesome job even back then. I got killed a lot, but nevertheless, I still passed the game, and... Oh! Hello, and thank you, Lisa, who's wearing a blue dress, which... This is what I really don't get, is like... Now, remember where Maggie is, because I'm probably not going to, because I took forever to find her last time. Oh, yes. But, yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah, for some reason, you, can, you can't go on this one, this side, but you can go on this side. Jump on here. And get that life. Are we going to need it? Uh, probably not, seeing that this is like the last level, and getting a little highly distracted here. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we got three, and we got one more to go, but the last one will not make it presence known until we go and trigger or like go basically gotta have one goal left if you don't have one goal left then the last rod will not appear basically so we gotta go back and we gotta do and seeing that's you know it's the last the last bit of the game we will personally go into the basement and retrieve those things. And it's just, I don't know, it just seems like a really... And there, after this, that's it. The game is done. No boss, no nothing. The, uh, I guess the aliens just kind of like, oh, well, the rods, well, we have no more rods. The rods are back where they're actually are supposed to be. Um, we have no more power. Let, let's bugger off. That's about it. That's absolutely... I, I I don't know. Like, I probably... there's There's been really more far-out Simpson ideas, but this one probably needs to be just slightly better. I have to say, just slightly. So, we're going back to where basically Maggie is, because that's our last rod, basically. Our last rod. Yes, actually, baby and rod does not sound good in the same sentence, I have to say. But anyway, she's on the third floor, right? Yep. She might not be here, so you might have to make her appear by coming, like, all the way over to... I usually just go to, to the... And I get a hit. Oh, blasted. Okay, here we go. And let's go, Maggie. And there we are. Done. Apparently we saved Springfield, and the alien said, basically, this. <laughs> oh my goodness, like, I really do not know. And apparently Bart has become an intergalactic hero. Not just a hero, but an intergalactic hero. You know, intergalactic. You know, bust out some Beastie Boys there. And apparently... It's so heavily influenced that we got Bart Simpson on the side of Mount Rushmore. Oh my god, there you go. There we go. And I don't really know what's going on here. Lisa's in a green dress, Maggie's in a white, like, onesie. And Marge is in a red, which I think, yeah, she's originally supposed to be green. So I don't know what's going on there, like... People are just moving all over the place. But that's it, basically. So after after Bart says, you know, cool man, a couple of and it just goes there. The credits are at the beginning, so there's no credits. But that's it for The Simpsons, Bart vs. Space Mutants. Is it a good game? I, I would say no, not really. It's good for, like, the, a Simpson game, I guess. Because it, there's obviously better ones preceding this, but there's also really bad ones preceding this too. So it's just kind of what you think. But anyway, 
that's it for Bart vs. Space Mutants. It's, a little, it's just a little short little side. I wouldn't. Want, I don't really want to call these LPs because they're not really LPs. Like, if you guys want to play it, I highly recommend playing anything I play. I really do. Because even if it's bad, I'm like, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta play bad games to know what's good, basically. Because if you just go by pretty much what people say that what's good and what's not, then you're just like following people, other people's tastes, and you don't really form your own taste. That's the thing, and that's what how I look at it, basically. So they got they got the colors somewhat right in here, like like May, uh, like Lisa's least in red. Maggie's in green. Okay, that's not exactly okay, but anyway. But anyway, that's pretty much uh, enough of me rambling on. I hope to see you guys in the next one. And... Which should be, well, actually, probably during this, there will be Legend of Zelda also. During this. So... When that's done, I'm not too sure what's going to be happening. I... Just I'm just did I did this one more totally randomly. I thought, hell, I want to do Bart vs. Space Mutants because I'm I can at least pass it, and there it got a lot it gets a lot of flack, and that's basically what it is. So I hope to see you guys in the next one. So until until next time, uh, I don't know. Take care, good night, and take care. Take care and good night. Yeah, actually, I'm going to go. With Take care and good night.